Hey everybody, welcome back to XCOM. We've got our infiltration. Well, it's almost completed. We're at 125%. Instead of pushing to 150 for the extra mobility, um, we can only get to 150 max anyways. We decided to take this and then probably send people out on a covert action and then probably take the other assault mission that's sitting there right now. We need to extract the VIP from the Advent City, avoid security robots. It's an engineer by the name of Ariel Raziel. Our squad is Dynamite, Pink Point, Bumblebee, Angerbot, Nightwolf, and Six. Bunch of wolves, actually. Uh, if the Chosen shows, not ideal because immune to melee, but we could potentially abuse his parry, maybe. Kind of depends. Um, we will see. We've got a smoke grenade here. Mag Grenade on Pink Point, Bumblebee Med Kit, Angerbot Frag Grenade, Nightwolf Acid Grenade, and a Frag Grenade here on 6. Let's rock and roll! Wish me luck. Today's trivia question. Which soldier in last season's campaign, War of the Chosen Season 6, missed the most number of shots? A. Mace the Cook D. B. Isabel Izzy Sponsler. C. Liu Short Fuse Chen. Or D. Stephanie Elixir Brown. And today's log is actually a fix from a previous one. We had incorrectly marked an epilogue for Waffle Man. This is written by Dracula. Norman Waffleman Harris in his final moments. Think back to episode two. The sectoid's twisted psionic fingers gripped his mind. Try as he might, the hand would not lessen its grasp. No, no. The memories of that day creeped into his mind. The fire and brimstone of the skies above, the terror and fear in his children's eyes, the concern and worry on Esmeralda's face. They all came flooding back in like a torrent of horror, ripping his mind asunder. He couldn't bear to live with, without them. He pulled the grenade from his belt, primed the trigger. I'll see you soon. I love you. Were the final thoughts in his head as the world came tumbling back down all over again. Hey, Draco, honestly, way to embrace it, man. That was such an unfortunate way to go and memorable. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget it. And I appreciate your soldier being there. Secure the VIP and proceed to the evac volume for extraction. Okay, Raziel. already knows we're here, so your position isn't concealed for the extraction. Yeah, uh, wow, I'm like... I'm blocked here. Can't even move. So who do we want to lead with then? I suppose Night Wolf's as good as any. Pink Point probably heading out next. Uh, actually, Dynamite's free now. So let's do this. We have a nice... If we could get up to here, that's a nice vantage point over where we kind of need to be or want to be. Sportolos. Uh-oh, she's finding something. Whether she's found or not is a different story. Ooh, not bad. Mech and security bit. Okay. This little combo is part of uh, that more robots thing, I believe. The more robots mod. If you say so. Civilian scamper. Okay. It looks like... Okay, you're yelling. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Looks like we can probably get into uh, these positions without triggering that group. Let's put uh, Pink Point here. Can anyone else get in close for Overwatches? I think I'll just put you behind this exploding possibility. What could go wrong? And then six... Yeah, our, our dismounts off of here are kind of so. awkward. I'm on it. And there he is. Oh, we saw a little purifier on the way. The fix has worked. That's good. If you don't recall, we talked about this uh, missing Chosen at the beginning of the last episode. And uh, there was an update to Covert Infiltration to it's fix an, an old bug. So glad we got it sorted. Except I wish he wasn't here. <laughs> oh, whoa. A whole other group. 
I'd like to target these security bits and see what they're capable of. Oh, are we not going to trigger on this? Oh my god. That is quite nasty, if I'm being honest. Well. I think we're going to long watch something. Now, okay. Purifier. Let's take a look at this. A couple of things we need to talk about. Number one. Uh, the proficiency classes have been updated. The hollow targeters uh, will last for two turns now. So it makes it a little bit more useful. Typically, I'm only using this as like a last case or a last ditch effort. And I don't have anything else to do. Uh, we're going to use lead the target here anyway, but uh, just something to keep in mind. So let's take a look at the purifiers because these guys have been reworked. Uh, they've got their pistol, their flamethrower, they throw incendiary grenades. They also now have return fire. They're immune to radiation damage, and they have immunity to poisons and fire. That makes sense. Uh, these guys, I think their AI has been reworked in the mod that we're using too. So a little bit scarier. Pathfinders, of course. Security bit, what do you do? So no damage. He can repair robots. Weld new armor in place. He can mark enemy targets. Gaining plus 10 aim for everybody else. Can trigger an instant scan, increasing its own sight radius substantially for two turns, revealing any hidden or disguised enemies in view. Immune to fire and poison. Okay, cool. Question is, what do I want to target? I feel like... Okay, we need to blast this mech down basically right away. Otherwise, he'll get healed. So I'm going to actually lead the target on this purifier got the least armor too uh of the humanoids and then these guys uh honestly i might just move up uh, i guess that'll be okay and we're kind of lucky that we've got that scout ahead because uh, we can anticipate this a bit more you know what I'll do? If these guys do come in range, I'm going to drop a taunt, dropping our defense, and then I'll put up our shield wall. Drops our defense even more, uh, but we get the um, the extra armor. And why do I feel like this is a horrible spot for me to be? Probably because it is. Let's get away from the explosives. Come on, baby. Okay, not bad. Four damage, lower end of the scale, but I'll take it. I really hope we get some overwatches here. Here we go. Come on. Oh, nice. Expanded fuel tank dropped. I don't even know what that is. Okay, we are landing the overwatches. sick okay nice that's a pathfinder down that's one pathfinder left out there right control mech left out there right control could still prove problematic for dynamite here oh what is this oh what is this oh my god you just tank that. Purifier security bit right on the evac. Hunter's coming in closer. Ugh. In a way, I kind of want to trigger him because we'll we'll stop the um, thing. Oh yeah, that's what a what a perfect setup. What a perfect setup. Oh, interesting. I do have. Oh, I have shield charge there. Shield bash. I'm a little short. So shield charge damages and knocks back, but he's against everything here. She cannot move. Does this guy have... Um... No. <laughs> uh, we do not want to lose dynamite here. So let's think about this because 
we're going to probably need to use some other options. Oh, I can't reach this Pathfinder at all. Okay. So, this is a pretty good start. I can go for a suppression on that Pathfinder after. We might be able to shred some armor. Maybe we get a higher damage roll. We did. That's a lot of damage. Okay. Now we're talking. I could finish him off with the combat protocol. However... I could also break this overwatch with a combat protocol. And then I only need two damage. Problem is, my, my rend, I can't reach that. But at least I could probably come out here and... Uh, and taunt. Mind you, we have a pretty good shot with dynamite as well. 74%, even with being disoriented. Just have such high aim. Everything else going for us there. Hmm. Can I not rend this guy? Oh, I can't reach him. Look at that. Oh, okay. If I move pink point, then it's a different story. Then it's a different story. Um. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I will take the combat protocol here. Just so I don't have to risk an overwatch. And then pink point. Let's bring you out here. That's a, one way of getting there, I suppose. Not bad. It's not bad. I'm going to take this. We're not moving, so there shouldn't be a shot. Oh, my Atlanta. <laughs> uh, <sighs> yeah. What does he all have, too? Flashbangs. Okay. He can repair as well. And taser punch. Stuns or, dis or can stun and disorient. Okay, so new plan... New plan. I guess I have to do this, right? Can't believe we missed that. This has kind of been an interesting trend that I've noticed with Dynamite. She's got a ton of kills. She's doing really well. But those high percentage shots when they're like clutch are sometimes uh, just a little bit off the mark. I wonder if I should try a taunt here. Just because I want to draw his fire away from dynamite. I mean, we have a subdue, but it's only 58%, and we're kind of doing a dangle there. Okay, I'll go. So, Bumblebee with the Carbine at 46. We didn't get any energy from that. Do we only get it from... Yeah, yeah, we have to kill organic enemies. That's right. Okay. Well, then I'm thinking we suppress here. We set up the taunt, and he's suppressed, so we might be able to, to dodge. His aim's going to be low. This could work. We don't have the, the guaranteed disorient there. So let's see if this hits. Oh, sick. All right. Well, that makes up for the missed shot above, I suppose.
Actually, let me put you here. I gotta watch for, like, potential flanks happening, I suppose. Where did that security bit go? I guess you're just gonna end your turn here. Yeah, this is fine. Oh, there it is. None of the other guys saw that, eh? Alright. I feel like... Oh, nice. Getting nervous yet. Okay. Well, uh... Bumblebee, if we could get a heal, that would be pretty sick. I don't know if we can heal like this. Can we heal? No, I didn't think so. Okay. So Nightwolf, I have to not move. You know what? I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna hunker him down, so I don't accidentally do it. Don't move. You'll be all right. Nine turns, not a lot to work with here, but that's life. All right, I'll go. Nice. Okay. It is tempting to go back up top here, but I don't really want to lead with her. Six, let's go full. I hope he varies his targeting. Or, you know, maybe, maybe just one, maybe just like from time to time, he's like, oh, I won't target. Oh, there's nice. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I, I, there's an art to what he does. I can see that. Okay, our sniper might have decent vision through here. Okay, those are the roaming security bits. Providing vision. I could go in and kill this. I would prefer killing it for with somebody back here. Coin flip. Well, sort of. I'm trusting you here. What's over there? Carbine it. Okay, nice. That's what they call me. Commander Cold Blood. What's over there? Overwatch. Got it covered. I don't really see a purpose in us moving here. Now what we're going to have to do is trigger that Chosen within the next few turns so that we can lock down this timer. But I'm just hoping we can kind of pull a, a group or two apart. <laughs> He's doing a weird dance, and I am fine with it. I'm fine with it. Pink point's clear. I'm actually going to dash. We need to move. All right. That's helpful. Put dynamite up top. Start moving these guys in. You Templars sure do like making a big show out of parlor tricks. Getting uh, our marine up there too could be nice, but. Okay, show me a group. Let's go. Come on. Surely they hear us. <laughs> he's stuck. He's, I don't know what he's doing over there. 
I can smell the fear on you. It's not fear you smell. It's poo. I mean, okay, this is certainly interesting. Oh, that's something, isn't it? Yep. Okay. That's only because we had the brace before. Now, <laughs> bringing in the VIP this close is kind of interesting. Oh, we're, look how close we were to revealing. Wow. Because what do we have here? We've got flame bombs. We've got poison spit. We've got the pulls. We've got all sorts of stuff that the VIP could get wrecked on. Looks like this is safe. I hope it's worth it. Now my way up, if I do want to make it, is going to be blocked. I don't think I'll be moving her very much at all right now. So maybe what we'll do is we'll take this corner. Money. Just hope we don't get flanked from this left side. And then Bumblebee, let's take here. That doesn't allow for a great shooting angle, but it does keep her close for uh, medkit stuff. Hunker you down there. I think we're better off shield walling instead of overwatching with her shot. I bet we're triggering this guy soon. Oh my god. How nice would it be to have a rocket? I'm gonna take this. Ooh! What a crit! Fuel line dropped. Okay. What a shot! Holy smokes. She heard me when I was criticizing the, the earlier miss. Okay, so that's Stunny. He is super far back. If I look at his second move, he can't quite make it. Which makes me feel good. Um, but that snake could be problematic. I got five turns left. We have an acid bomb. I think here we just like take the shot. The worry is we we've killed seven. There's three active. That's I guess including the chosen. So I'm guessing there's probably yet another group that we have to think about too. Now, if we look at his, can he get to that tree? Yeah, look at this. He could get there on a full dash. And I don't have a reliable way to not make that happen. Five turns left. If I could expose this snake almost wonder if I gotta go for this. I'd have a parry that I could set up. Oh, well, actually, no, I wouldn't. I don't have any energy available. Hmm. Thing is, if this snake pulls someone out of here, then we got problems.
I could come up here. Let's maybe do this. I can only work with what I have. Stun Lancer, be damned. We've got we've got shields. Hopefully we can take out the snake who's now exposed. Oh, we can't see it now because of the bounce back. <laughs> Classic. I'm trusting you here. So if we're able to pick up that snake kill, we could get the energy. Oh, but because of the bounce back, it's out of range. You're kidding me. I was thinking when we initially got these mag grenades that they would suck people towards the middle, like, you know, magnetically. But I guess that was wrong. Oof. Okay. See, now I'd like to save a suppression here if I can. Carbine. Oh, come on. My ammo's running low. Locked and loaded. <laughs> Jesus. Okay, well. If that's how it's gonna be, I guess. That's how it's gonna be. I, I could have maybe gone for an area suppression there, but... I mean, pink point's going to have to be the target, unfortunately. I will sense any disturbance. If he comes in, like... That's a suicide mission, but he's doing it. Wait, what? Oh my god! I thought we looked at that. Okay, he actually dangled pretty far away there. Well, now he's coming in. I think he might be active. Wow. Okay. Everything's fine. I think. I can attack, I just can't move. I'll take it. Gonna need the reload here. Doesn't look like I'm gonna be getting that loot, does it? Maybe. I'm trusting you here. Oh, I actually didn't want the I didn't want the kill there because I wanted to I wanted to have um, Nightwolf available to take it to get some energy up. Okay. Well. I am watching. Ooh, what's our hack here? Reflexes and squad reflexes. We could use fail safe to negate the negative consequences. Let's take a look. I think that is this just dodge? Or is it like lightning reflexes? I can't remember. Yeah, dodge. I mean, not a bad potential, I guess. Accessing system. I'm 
I'm just going to move up slightly so that I can move our VIP up. And I'm wondering if she can maybe get there next turn. That's ah, going to be close. I'll maybe squeak in here. Six. Deep breath. Hmm. It's going to be active soon. If not right now. Is he the one that always calls us like a coward? He keeps doing this. Okay. That could be the time that we need actually. I wonder if I can get that. I can. I can get that loot. Man, maybe we don't even fight him here. I'm going to send the VIP. They can't get the loot, but... Uh, they can get out of here. VIP secure and in position for evac. Angerbot could get it. And it doesn't look like that even triggered anyone. So I could probably put Angerbot like right here. And see about fighting him. Copy that. Get up and get back out there. But if we're not going to fight him, then... We're going to need to leave. Back online. I think I'm going to go for this. Getting it done. If it triggers anything, then we can evac her. Advance wildcats. Well, I think our plan is pretty well written for us here. Unless he comes up here now. Oh, no. What's this? Oh, no. There was another group. Sneaky. Sneaky snake. Oh, boy. Cover the flanks is right. Wow. That is dirty. That is dirty. How much damage can he do, I wonder? Probably enough. Probably enough. Here's the problem. If, uh... If we don't get out right now... I'll have one turn. I'll have one turn to get out. And this involves... A shot from the hunter on dynamite. Oh, I just realized this wasn't in the evac zone. Oh, boy. One thing I could do is... Um, I could come here and provide aid protocol to Dynamite. Because I think his shot is still percentage-based. Oh, man, we're in a rough spot now. I don't have any full cover here. I've got this. But then I don't know if that's actually close enough for us to get out on the following turn.
Pathfinder can probably run down here to flank, right? Yeah, he can go right there. Right there, and he could flank us. He could also... Come down here, but he can't flank from that position. So maybe I go here and we hunker down six. I keep pink point out here to break overwatches and stuff. Actually, realistically, I think we... Well, could keep her here. Problem is if that snake grips somebody, pulls someone in... Then that's a yikes. However, okay, so I, I think the first thing we have to try is we have to try and get her out. Because now we have chosen on this side, these dudes over here, not a ton of options. This might be a bit tricky with how Overwatch and stuff works, but I'm hoping... <laughs> I'm just hoping that it works. Because <laughs> what's my other option? I actually... Even if we went and, and scouted him somehow, I don't know if this... Uh, maybe it does break, but... I'm going to do this. Is there any other buffs I can give her? I don't think so. There's no overwatches on this side, at least. Endless. Come on. Two to five. Oh, he's hitting her. Okay. Alive, though. And now we've got access to our smoke grenade. So, a couple things we can maybe do. The hunter can flank. So we need to be on this side, pretty much. Right? If I'm here, it's not good enough. We need to be past that. I need to be here. I got this position. And this whole thing could be flanked. What's your mobility? 10 versus Bumblebee's 12. See, she can get here. So I think if I put her on this side, that's where Bumblebee goes. And then this dude. Could he flank that? Technically, yes, if he came to here. Technically. <laughs> Technically, he could. And if I put her down here, he could get flanked from the Pathfinder, who comes down to there. There's these options as well. I think the full cover feels a bit better. I wonder... Hmm. I wonder if I'm to come here with both of them. Does that... Does that show us where he is? Does that reveal him? God, I hope not, but it's possible too. <sighs> okay. Because I'm thinking what I'm going to end up doing here is we smoke grenade, 
the people that stay. Pink Point will be one of them. And I'm hoping that these guys kind of go for overwatches because we're really close to the end. I could even... I could even taunt shield wall this. Um, that is potential flanking, though. And high ground flanking. But armor. And I think that would be okay. I think pink point could handle that. Yeah, okay. Well, that's what we're going to do. Oh, you know what we could do? Hmm. If she can get flanked anyways... One potential issue that happens is, is uh, we get poisoned. Which would not be great. But we should still be able to be close enough to get out of here. Because what I can do there is put her in between. We don't get flanked from there. Go, go, go. I'm gone. Angerbot, we send. Dickle. We'll smoke this. Dynamite we send. Now I wonder, are we better off going for dodge here? Because we have full health. Decreasing our defense. Because really what, what we want to worry about is if that snake were to pull somebody out of here, that would actually be the worst, right? So if we increase our dodge amount, there's already 28, then we can maybe dodge that potential grapple. Instead of just giving that extra armor. This does provide the high cover to Bumblebee though. Something that could be kind of interesting with that sniper and pathfinder. Maybe let's do that. I can't really make this reach anywhere, can I? You know what I'll do, though, is uh, I'll put it over here. Just to block one of his points where he could go for a flank. On ping point. Here we go. Okay, there's the poison. Non-flank. Long watch. And tracking shot mark. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I mean, okay. So we have one o we have two overwatches, one being from the hunter. Don't love it. But we're running from uh from smoke. I think we just gotta go. No place to hide now. Oh, there we go, baby. That looks painful. I would have loved to fight him there, but he was just dilly dallying that whole time. Uh, I guess that'll be okay. All right, that was... Oh. That's a successful mission, man. I'll take it. We didn't kill everything, but that was just so awkward. 
I can't help but feel like we are just sorely lacking in in damage right now. It's a tough it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Had he had he engaged on this rooftop when we we were on the other rooftop? And then we we probably wouldn't have triggered that group in that way and been like sandwiched. I think that goes a bit differently. MVP for six though. Three out of three. 13 damage, not bad. Pink point, running those overwatches, literally saving people. Leaf on the wind, I think. Yeah. And the Wi-Fi. Dynamite, two for three, nine damage. Bumblebee with the with the heal. 13 damage, four for five. And Angerbot, two for two. Four damage. Nightwolf couldn't really get anything going. Did get four damage. Killed that mech. Didn't get any energy. Yeah, it was. I just felt really awkward. <laughs> felt very, very awkward. But um the Chosen did show. Funny enough, I think this is the first campaign in a long time where we've run into the Chosen well twice technically, but both times we weren't able to kill him. That's concerning. Getting that alloy integration will be a help. Uh, yeah. I just feel like things are dicey right now. Plus, I mean, we don't have a lot of high-ranking soldiers on that mission. That changes things pretty considerably. 21 days for 6. Dynamite at 13. Two promotions, though. I shouldn't be too upset about this. Covering fire is nice. Danger zone is good if we want to run uh, rifles. I mean, it's good for cannons, too. Flush them out is really cool. Plus 30% chance to hit. Forces the target to move from the position. Cost two ammo. Deals half damage. Uh, reaction shots ignore 50% of target's defense granted from cover. Reaction shots apply minus 15 aim penalty to the target for one turn. Hmm. Yeah, covering fire. And Nightwolf, what do we have on you? Soulbind. Rend attacks that damage but do not kill a living target give a 50% chance to transfer energy. Rend attacks that do not kill a living target can regenerate 1 HP. Consecrated Blades. 50% chance to deal plus one damage in all Psyblade attacks for each unit of energy stored, but the max we can hold is is reduced by one and then castigate offensive abilities cast with energy will also apply stat penalties will and psi offense stats will be reduced by 30 percent and target's chance to hit or chris reduce hit or crit reduced by 10. so things like volt i think soul bind here is the is the pickup for us got those wildcats we went ham to try and get that and i was thinking we would trigger the chosen then too but Got an engineer. I gotta be happy with that, honestly. I, I can't really beat ourselves up too much. So now we've got our third engineer. Uh, we can reduce those wound times. Let's go. Okay. Okay. That's a win. Be positive. Be positive. Oh yeah, now. Okay. <laughs> we talked about... Wait, where is... Um. Hold on a second. So, pink point. Tired for nine days. Okay. Because we were going to look at putting her into the covert action. Uh, to get that big dodge boost. Both of our guys are tired for nine days. So, maybe we, we could wait for four and put Jackson in there. And then we were going to take this other assault mission. Uh, straight up. To finish the uh, those stiletto rounds, and honestly, we just need experience. We need people to. We need to get more levels, big time. Yeah, so I think we'll wait the four days until Stiggs is back for that. But that means we can go for this now. It's a sabotage the transmitter thing. Looks like a cool spot. Setting course for sector eight, Mexico. Now we should be safe 
from the Chosen here, because he just showed as well. I'm looking at maybe taking some of our mid-ranking individuals. Could bring Galen in here. Let's bring Schmidt. I'll bring Byron again. Odin can come. It's in the subways. Okay. Fun. <laughs> Very fun. Uh, that might change my opinion of bringing a marksman, honestly. Where are the other combat engineers at? Man, these guys are on covert actions for a long time. But after this mission, I feel like we probably go into the following month. We might have some downtime. Let's bring that one. We can bring Pool Mother. Uh, let's actually... Let's go shotgun here so we don't have that huge um, aim or uh, mobility debuff. Sapper, I'll maybe switch you to an assault rifle so we have a little bit of range there. Night Wolf's up close. Reaper, just going to be poking. Pool Mother with the, with the carbine. The Advanced Wildcats, 100% chance to deal plus one damage on crits, increase the chance to graze on non-crits by 8%. So I think if I could get like a Marine in here, which I only have one of, sadly, so we can't do that. Sorry, two of them. Can't bring them. Oh, I have three. Oh, my bad. We have three Marines all of a sudden. That's right. They're just two squaddies and our recently wounded one. Okay. Iggy's not a bad option. Maybe Silencer. Don't need to bring this. Let's go Frost Bomb there. And I think I'll give you the Mag Grenade there. So we get that little bit of an extra boost from the launcher. Let's do Wildcats. You should be hitting pretty hard there. And instead of this pistol, I'll give you the Shadow Keeper. I don't think we have anything else that we could give out. We can put scope on this. It's not bad. And then we have basic Wildcats. Your aim 67, yours is 82. Maybe I'll give you the scope. And since you get crit buffs, we'll go basic wildcats here. Okay. So, uh, we're taking out Weather Girl, Schmidt, Musion, Nightwolf, Odin, Pool Mother, and Silencer. I feel like things are... I don't feel confident right now in our soldiers, if I'm being honest. Everyone's so fragile. We're not, we don't have the damage output for a lot of these enemies. There's a lot of armor right now. Um... We have three Marines that can shred, but two are on Covert Ops. One is injured. Yeah, it's a, it's a rough time out there. It's a rough time out there. Odin. Do I want to go... Hmm. I wonder if maybe I should take one of these for Odin, too. What else do I have in here? I've got Flash Bangs. That could be beneficial right now. Boltcaster. 
This will drop us below that 100, but I could sell stuff at the uh, black market if we needed to. Okay, so here's what I'll do. I'll put a flashbang here. And Odin, I'll give smoke. And hopefully we can make that work. I actually think maybe here we'll give you a med kit as well. You have super mobility in case some somebody does need some healing. And uh, we've got... Oh, actually... Maybe I want the acid grenades here. Tough call. Acid does two shred. No, you know what? I think we'll keep this one. This is four to five, three shred. shred. Slightly lower range, but yeah, it's fine. But they just don't get the acid tick, but uh, I think it's okay. Okay, wish me luck. Operation Particle Boulevard coming up. We'll see you guys soon. Bye for now.